it's going to get worse. I mean, by the time this video comes out, it could be six bucks a day. Um, you know, I, I don't want to point fingers. Biden. <laughs> um, cool things are coming, and, and we've started. I mean, we, we made a big push this year. We got in, I think, five or six food plots last year on the farm. Yeah. that we were able to put in. We bought the farm heavily wooded. I don't think there was never any improved ground here. Not um, zero. And, you know, so we, we built food plots and, you know, it was, it was hard back raking work. Doze, a lot of dozer work, a lot of, you know, uh, posi track work. Long and, days. Yeah, long days, short nights, but, uh, but we got it in. And the first season alone, we could tell, um, you know, kind of the fruits of our labor. And, you know, we, you and I chased a couple specific deer this yeah. year that, that gave us, ultimately gave us a slip. And that's, that's just with starting out with these little food plots. And now that we've opened up like multiple, multiple acres of food plots here. 30, 30 plus more acres. Yeah, yeah. it's just, you know, On it's going to be insane, especially when we start building the stuff down. But I think our priority right now is food. Just food, 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 food. Yep. And unlike flat ground, we don't have the ability to pick and choose specific areas where these food plots go. Yep. Our terrain dictates where the food plots go. So we have to make the deer come to the food plots. And then from there, we have to build access to that area based on the topography and how we're not gonna blow deer. And, and just to focus on, you know, once the acorns are gone, you know, yep. they're gonna move to where obviously there's food and here, I don't know what all they're eating other than acorns. So. You've got some some woody browns and some hardwood regeneration that they you know they'll come in and feed on for sure. <clears throat> Admittedly, ran a bunch of corn feeders yep. and you constantly. Can, you can see as soon as those those white acorns and red acorns started to drop, it, man, the deer were just they were goats. Yep. You know, it's hard to pull them away from that. But um, what we did see at at the other farm is we, we got food plots in there earlier, yep. and then yeah, they they were definitely still on the acorns, but every night they'd be out in those food plots. Yep. Um, you know, so that kind of solidified for us the, the importance of food plots and, and what we needed to do kind of moving forward. Yep. A lot of hinge cutting going to be going on here, yep. a lot of, you know, creek bedding areas. I mean, that was like one of the biggest things here. There was just so much timber and once the foliage is gone, it, it becomes like an open plain. It's, it's an oasis. Yeah. yeah I mean, you can just, see 500 yards yeah, of hardwood. So it's just so hard to hunt. And I think the most productive time of the season is definitely um, mid-season before the leaves really come off. So you're, you're talking about you know, late October, early November, and then you when as soon as you start really getting those cold days and those leaves start to fall, those animals, you know, they change yep. instantly. You know, there's definitely a shift in the movement and how they behave. And you know, right now, as as we're filming this, we're in March, and there's you know, we know spring's coming. You know, we're starting to see some warmer temperatures, but you know, there's still not a leaf on the tree, and you can see forever. So, you know, part of part of that that tactic that we're using is is we've got some steeper country, we've got some hollers and some bottoms that we're going to once this logging is done we're using those as deer sanctuaries where you know we just never go no, never you know go. it's going to be all deer all the time and and stay out of those and i think that's super and especially with, like you said a minute ago with cutties you know we don't have to you know do a mess with them or nothing you just one time and done so yeah that that i mean that that certainly with with cell cams is a game changer but this cutty system um especially and you know we don't get cell service here Right. right. So when we get to the top of the mountain, we have a couple of places where we get cell service. So as so long as you put that one home camera there so and then you can ping them off, you know, we've got 20 plus cameras running on this farm and we don't, you know, save maybe a, a, you know, an SD card goes bad or it fills up and, you know, we don't. And you're filling your feeders once a, every two weeks or, yeah, you know, kind of thing. And, you know. and okay. you know, we've also started a, a protein program too. So, yeah, yeah we we'll started protein. Uh, supplemental feeding and you know some of that uh, the, the supplemental feed that we're using is actually behind us and and so far I mean the, the deer came to it instantly it's, there was no we, we we played around early with some other protein uh, I think we tried three different types and um, it was a uh, we ended up having to, to mix it with corn before they'd actually eat it and then you could still see when you go up to the feeder you know, most of the protein portion of that was on the ground yep and and you know they, they need the, the protein out but with some of the the products here from from real world i mean those deer hammered it instantly instantly within you know we talked about it where when we first started when we first put it out in a couple of the feeders we, we had cameras on and we we're like man i wonder how long because on the protein side straight protein it took them forever to hit it um and we were you know then once we mixed corn and it happened a little faster but with this it was that same night i mean the deer were hitting it. yeah um, and hitting it hard. And, and this product, it, it's got soybeans and corn in it, lots of good stuff. And um, so there's a powerful attractant, but at the same time, there's a very high protein level, yep. um, which is which is especially good, um, you know, for for antler, uh, for antler growth. 
and, and overall deer health too, which is which is important. And the good news, guys, is is that we can get all this. This is this is home for us now. So.